Hi everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a good time. So far we have seen a number of simple and elaborate elements in the studio library. But we need not limit ourselves to the components we can find in a library. In this chapter we will learn all about making our own custom components and finding custom components online. We will also learn to add custom HTML code to the website. But let's get started by adding one of our own existing custom components to the library. Perhaps we have made a component which we really like and we want to use it in other projects too. The easiest way to go about this is by adding it to the library. As an example, let's take the footer we have created and add it to the library. In the overview panel, right click on the footer and select add to library. A window pops up. We can set the name of the component and we can also select the resources that need to be included. Bootstrap Studio can figure out some of the resources that need to be included. For example, those CSS blocks which are directly linked to the elements in the footer will automatically be included here. We can also add additional blocks and JavaScript that needs to be linked. In this case, there was one block which we did not directly link which is the colon root block. That's a block where we have defined the palette colors. So we need to select this block specifically. In the library, we can find our new component in the folder user. Let's test it to see if it works on other projects too. Create a new blank project and drag and drop the new footer onto the page. It works, great. We can also be nice and upload this component. Hopefully it will be useful to some other people too. We can also find a lot of very useful components, which other users have uploaded over here. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. So we can do quite a lot by combining components in the overview panel. But sometimes it can be useful to add our very own HTML code. Bootstrap Studio allows us to do that too. We use the custom code block. The custom code block is a very useful block. It's simply an empty block in which you can type or paste your own code. This can be very useful because many websites and platforms offer you the opportunity to generate code which you can then embed in your own website. Next, let's surf to YouTube. I want to find a video that I want to embed on my website. Under the video, you find the share button, click on it, and next click on embed. A window with some code shows up. Select the code and copy it to the clipboard. Back in Bootstrap Studio, double click on the custom code element and paste the code into the available space. Unfortunately, the custom code does not show up on the canvas. To test the result, we need to create a preview. To make things a bit more aesthetic, let's center the video. So 
So as you can see, it's pretty simple to embed some custom code into our Bootstrap Studio website. We can also add inline SVG code in the same way. For those of you who don't know, SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And it's a very good way of including graphics on your website. We're going to learn more about that in the next video. So I will see you there. Bye for now. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now. See you in the next video. Bye bye.